I have quite a few cameras, and surprisingly my favorite is this $8 one that I got from a thrift store. Spending so much time using this Digicam has really brought the question into my head of what makes a better camera. It's pretty clear that the image quality on this thing is much worse than even my iPhone. But why am I using it so often? This here is what's called a Digicam. Digicams are great because they take photos, but they also take videos. And the video on this thing is so bad that it's good. The Canon PowerShot SD630 has a whopping 6.0 megapixels, which is not a lot. It's pocket sized, it's so easy to use. They're just so much fun. Some famous photographer once said that the best camera is the one that you have with you. And I'll change that a little bit to say, the best camera is the camera that you use. For example, I was down in Florida vacationing and I always pack a big camera bag of all my stuff in case I wanna go take photos or make a video. And I never once used this thing, but I use this thing in my iPhone like the entire time. Sure, it's awesome that I have these high megapixel DSLRs that take great photos with great quality, but none of that matters if I don't bring this thing with me when I'm out and about. I don't think it's as simple as a camera is better if only the image quality is better. I think there's more to it. This specific Canon PowerShot that I have is great, but my recommendation is to just get a Digicam period, one that you can afford or one that you have. Get your foot in the door, and then if you decide, oh, I wanna get a better Digicam, then you can do that. But like the whole point of it is kind of that it sucks a little bit, and it's just a more nostalgic, fun quality. It's pretty wild to say this, but this camera is from 2006, and that was 18 years ago. As a human society, we are ready for the Digicam. I can't believe I'm speaking in these generalities of basic terms, but the aesthetic of the photos, of the videos, and of just using this thing, the simplest way to put it is just vibes. Like the vibes are right with this camera, with the Digicam. And you can change the shutter sound to be a dog barking. Like if that's not the perfect example of this thing just being fun, then I don't know what is. It's easy to give to somebody and have them use it. Like if you bring this thing to a party, you can go up to one of your friends, turn it on and go, hey, literally all you do is click this little button and you're good, it's foolproof. Whereas if I hand this thing to somebody at a party and I say, hey, could you, you know, take a picture? Like it's not the vibe, stop! Right now on eBay, they're around 100, 120, 130 bucks. Just keep your eyes peeled if you go to a thrift shop or online. My only recommendation if you're gonna buy one of these is to buy a Digicam that has a flash on it because the photos that it takes, especially in any sort of low light or night environment are really contingent, it's a big word, dependent on whether or not there's a flash. And if there's not a flash, you're, it's just not gonna be good. So get something with the flash. These things are also great for street photography, which is just walking around and taking photos. It's nice because it's small and inconspicuous that people aren't gonna be weary of some guy carrying around a huge camera. There's something really uncomfortable about carrying this big thing around in public. <laughs> I bring this thing to every concert that I go to. It gets through security easily and you can feel a little bit different when everyone has their iPhone up in the sky. You can be like, oh, excuse me, I have a digital camera. I'm better than you. The screen brightness is so bad that when you're outside in the sun, it's difficult to see the screen. So it almost feels like film photography because you're not seeing what you're taking until you get back and plug the SD card in. There is an attachment that puts an SD card reader on your iPhone where you could very easily just pop this thing out put it in there and then like immediately see the photos on your phone, which I think is cool. I don't have that. I, I, as I'm saying this, I'm realizing I should probably get one, but in the way that you saw people buying point and shoot 35 millimeter film cameras, I think they're gonna start buying these Digicams. And if you look at the eBay prices, it's happening. This Digicam is what I call film adjacent. And what I mean by that is, yes, the photos have a film-like quality to them, but I also say that because the rise in popularity of these Digicams is very similar to that of film. 
in the 2010s, film became popular because people got sick of digital cameras. And that same thing is what's happening right now with digicams. I was at CVS recently, and this was the price of a disposable film camera. Keep in mind that does not include the prices of developing. And these things, yes, are now more than the $8 that I paid for it, but it's only a one-time payment. And when everything is a fucking subscription, it's nice to just buy something once and then have it. People sleep on how much like the vibe of a camera matters. The vibe of how you feel using it, but also like the vibe of the images or videos that it produces. I think this thing is the perfect midpoint between those two things. Because yes, everybody can take good photos on their phone, but it's cool to have a sidekick like a digicam. Why should you love me?